Sarah, you said you started practicing makeup, right? Yeah, but it's not like I'm a miracle worker or anything. Hmm, maybe we could do something about that hair. Yeah, why does it look like that? Um, like what? I don't know, it just looks different. Like, look at ours. It's just nicer and healthier, and yours is just frizzy. Now, honey, I want you to make some new friends at school today, okay? I know, I know it's not easy moving to a new school and having to make new friends, but I wanted to move here so we can have a better life. And, you know, back home, it's too dangerous. Can you do that for me? Can you make some new friends? Of course, Mom. I'm going to make some new friends. You know why? Why? Because my attitude it determines my altitude. That's my girl right there. That's my baby. Okay, well, you go ahead and you have a great day at school, okay? Bye, baby. Oh, oops. She forgot her lunch. And then I saw Brian look over at me. I could totally tell he was eyeing me. So I did what any pretty girl would do. Oh, yeah? What's that? <laughs> Ignored him. <laughs> You're so crazy. <laughs> Hi, girls. Um, do we know you? Not yet. My name is Vienna. I just switched schools. Nice to meet you, gals. I'm sorry, did you say gals? You must not be from around here. We don't shake hands with people we don't know. For all we know, you could be a criminal. Yeah, she's right. How do we know you're not a criminal? What? That's nonsense. How could I be a criminal? I'm only 13. Well, just to be on the safe side. Why do you dress like that? Uh, mm -hmm. like what? I don't know. It's just, your clothes are all loose, and they have holes in them, and it kind of looks like you're wearing boys' clothes. Oh, well, this is my brother's shirt. I like to wear his clothes sometimes. Wait a minute, so these are like hand-me-downs? Like someone else already wore them? And they're not even girls' clothes? <laughs> um, yeah, what's wrong with that? She just said, what's wrong with that? <laughs> oh, Brittany, if you want to hang out with us, you're going to need to learn how to dress. I wouldn't be caught dead in that outfit. Sarah, you said you started practicing makeup, right? Yeah, but it's not like I'm a miracle worker or anything. Hmm, maybe we could do something about that hair. Yeah, why does it look like that? Um, like what? I don't know, it just looks different. Like, look at ours. It's just nicer and healthier, and yours is just frizzy. Hey, baby. I didn't want you to forget your lunch and mom's leftovers. <laughs> oh, don't you all look pretty? Thank you. Thanks. What? You have a good day at school, okay, sweetie? <laughs> Seriously? Who packs lunches these days? Um, well, I do. It's way cheaper than the school lunches. Ew, she just said school lunches. <laughs> I'm sorry, Brittany. We don't know anything about that life. We're getting Uber Eats for lunch. I'm thinking steak and lobster? Yeah, steak and lobster sounds good. Hey, where do you think you're going? Um, well, class is starting. Well, you're gonna have to wait and go in after us. We're not gonna be caught dead seeing with you walking in with us. Gosh, the nerve of some of these poor people. Hey, baby. How was your first day at school? You make any new friends? No, the girls made fun of my outfit. Yeah, outfit? What's wrong with your outfit? It's a boy's outfit, Mom. I don't want to wear this anymore. I want to wear a dress like the pretty girls at school. A dress, huh? <laughs> Is that all my little princess wants? No, and, and stop talking in that accent. We're not in Louisiana anymore. All right, you moved us out here, and, and we have to talk like they do. Ah, uh, okay. Well, what else does my little princess want to see happen? I want to straighten my hair. I don't like how frizzy it is. <laughs> What's so funny? Is my little girl embarrassed about where we come from? Who we are? You want to be like them? Let me tell you something, baby. 
black is beautiful, okay? You should be proud of who we are and where we come from, our heritage. I mean, we are some of the most beautiful people on the planet Earth. And don't let those girls fool you, okay? True beauty comes from within. It's how we treat one another. Okay, and I know a lot of attractive people who are definitely ugly on the inside. So don't you go around being one of those ugly girls, okay? I raised you better than that. The South raised you better than that. I just want to fit in. Why would you want to fit in when you were born to stand out? <laughs> Baby, you see this magazine right here? These women come in all shapes and sizes, colors. They're all beautiful. So you go ahead and you tell those girls that. Brittany was left in awe over her mother's speech. Everything her mom said really sank in. It was exactly what she needed to hear. Brittany's mom continued to explain to Brittany what black culture was all about. She taught her to think and rise above any small-minded person. With her newfound confidence, Brittany was excited to go back to school the next day, but her mom had one more surprise waiting for her in her room. I like your nails. I got them done. Do you think Brad will notice? Definitely. <laughs> hey, Brittany. Is that a new dress? Oh, yeah. I like it. Thanks. I like it too. What brand is that? Um, I don't know. My mom bought it for me. Oh my gosh, it says Walmart. Ew, ew. Get away from us before you infect us with your poverty. Who cares if it's from Walmart? It's nice. You said it yourself. That was before I knew it was from Walmart. Thank God I have rich parents. Uh, excuse me, girls. Uh, Regina, your parents called. They left a letter that I guess you're going to be staying at Christie's again this weekend. I guess they extended their trip in Cancun, so they won't be here. What? But my cheer finale is this weekend. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, they did leave some money for you, I guess, so you can buy food and some Hot Pockets. You see, Regina, there's more things to life than just money and dresses. Like family. Like having your parents there for an event. Like friends who like you for you and not for what you can buy them. Well, at least I'm not ugly like you. And I have beautiful hair that you'll never have. Hey, here comes Brian. Hey girls. Hey Regina. Hi Brian, I like your haircut. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, hey Regina, can I ask you something? Of course, ask away. Um, who's your new friend here? Wait, what? Hello. My name's Brittany. I just moved here from Louisiana. Oh, nice to meet you, Brittany. Hey, do you want to go have lunch together? We have a free spot at our table. Wait, what? I would love that. Wait, Brian, I thought you were going to ask me to eat lunch with you. I'm obviously the prettier one out of the girls. Uh, no, nah, I think Brittany's the prettier one in the group. No, then Sarah. If anything, you're last. Oh, please. There's no way you're putting Sarah above me. Sarah's hideous. Hey, do you have room for one more? Only one more. Sarah, would you like to join us? Sure. I'd love to. Awesome. Follow me. Um, actually, I'll be there in a sec. Yep. Sounds good. We'll just be over there. At least I'm still rich. You know, Regina, there are some things money can't buy. Like parents being there for their kids. Like having friends that love you and they stick by your side. And I guess now you know that money can't buy love. So have fun thinking about that when you're sitting there alone at lunch today. <clears throat> have you ever been embarrassed or ashamed of your heritage or where you come from? I can speak from personal experience when I was first going to school in this country, I didn't speak English and I remember feeling embarrassed about who I was and being Hispanic and people would make fun of me kind of thing or maybe I so I thought. 
But you know, Instagram nowadays and social media, they do a really good job of convincing you that this other side is cooler, that being over here is cooler. And you know, there's that old saying, the grass is greener on the other side. Well, I'm here to tell you that the grass is greener on the side that you water the most. So be proud of who you are and be proud of where you come from and be proud of your culture and your heritage. I hope you guys enjoyed today's life lesson with Luis. Make sure to like and subscribe to this channel so you get notified every time we release a new video. And as always, make sure to share this with someone that you love.